In June of 1922, the uh, general election had taken place and at the time there were only two women who were elected. They were Mary McSweeney and Kate O'Callaghan. The election had had the other members standing, so Constance de Markovich and Margaret Pierce and Dr. Ada English and Kathleen Clark had also stood for that election, but they weren't successful. In order to mark the centenary, we're here today in the uh, National Print Museum. We have asked primary school children to take part in a print workshop where they're going to print posters uh, for the candidates for the 1922 election. Because no posters or leaflets survive from this election, we told the story of the candidates and what happened to the children and we asked them to respond, to come up with their own posters and to tell the story in their words of what the women were asking of the general public and why they should vote for them and what they believed that those women would be asking them. Based on the idea that the women who were elected a hundred years ago we do not have uh, evidence of their posters or whether they had any posters or not at the time. So we're using letterpress because this is what they would have used at the time. Uh, this process is 500 years old and they are using the same techniques in printing today that would have been used by printers at the time. We were quite selective in what we took out today that we were, we were checking a little of the typefaces we were using that they existed 100 years ago and they could have been available for the printers at the time to create these posters. So we're very lucky here at the National Print Museum that we have uh, an original copy of the 1916 proclamation and we have it here in, in our display case. So I was able to show that today to the students and give them uh, both an example of a political piece, but also just the type of poster that would have been made 100 years ago. And also the fact that like today, we took a little bit of inspiration from the proclamation in that they only had a very short time to do their piece. They were only with us for a couple of hours and they had to kind of select their type, uh, set their piece, get it printed and print off a few copies and then also free up the type for their, um, their fellow pupils to use um, and get it all done within a short space of time. Manol 100 tells the story of women and this period of our revolutionary history. During the decade of centenaries, we've looked at the role of women and their contribution to Ireland and these revolutionary years. On the website, manol100.ie, you'll find films, podcasts, uh, audio, and um, various uh, stories related to women during this important time in our history.